I want to showcase another desktop application I made. It's a GUI application in Python and it combines two forms of artificial intelligence, uh, computer vision and speech synthesis. For both of these I'm using pre-configured models or algorithms uh, by making API calls to their services. For computer vision I'm using uh, Watson's powerful uh, visual recognition API and for speech uh, synthesis I'm using Ivona API which is going to be included in the Amazon Poly beginning next month so it's uh, being discontinued as Ivona but you can still use it if you have API credentials at the moment uh, when this video is uploaded both of these uh, services have free tiers which is what I'm using uh, and as with most APIs you'd have to register for free to get your API credentials and I'll provide links uh, to them in the description now about the application what's it do as you can see uh, it maintains a minimal design and if you've been watching my videos you know I like to keep uh, things quite simple in short it takes an image URL as input it applies visual recognition and then it speaks uh, using the natural sounding Ivona what it sees. Now we're going to do a quick demo here and then I'll later publish and explain the code line uh, by line on my blog and also on GitHub where you could fork it and modify it to your own preference. So let's go to Google Images and search for a picture. Let's say conveyor belt. Grab this one. I'm going to copy its location. Paste it over here and then do recognize. There is a 93% chance you're looking at conveyor belt. Okay. Let's try another one. So, cruise ship. I could definitely use a vacation right now. Let's take this one. Copy image location. And then paste it over here. And then recognize. There is a 90% chance you're looking at passenger ship. All right, so please keep in mind that this is extremely minimalistic and there are unlimited number of functionalities and features that can be added to it. I could instead have it take a bunch of pictures uh, from local storage and input, uh, like having them as input and classify them into categories then organize them into folders. I could also do the same thing with images uh, from the internet. Anyway, the purpose of this uh, video was to provide a quick demo of the application and I'll have the explanation post and the code up soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.